Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey and we are already at the end of the week. If you are following us from Monday through Friday, yes, this is Friday. But if you are just watching one video here, one video there, so it doesn't make any difference, right? And we are in the first book of Samuel. We're finishing our series here, which of course we could not see the whole book, right? It's just a few stories. Today we have a beautiful story at the end of the book. A beautiful, beautiful story that I'd like to share with you. And before I, 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 I go there, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and families uh, because they are it's going to be good for them. It's going to be good for us. Help us to bless other people. We just want to bless other people and give you a short snack, a small snack for your journey. The, the story today is we learned that uh, Saul knew that David was coming for the kingdom, right? Saul was the king and he knew that David was coming for the kingdom. And he tried to kill David. And he persecuted David all over the place. It was, it was terrible. And there's some Psalms about those stories. It's a terrible, terrible, because he was trying to kill David anywhere. And he was hunting David down. And today we have a very interesting verse that I'd like to share with you. It's chapter 24, verse 15. It says, this, this is David talking to Saul, and I'm going to give you the context for that. May the Lord be our judge and decide, judge and decide between us. May he consider my cause and uphold it. May he vindicate me by delivering me from your hand. This is one of the very interesting stories. Saul is hunting David. David got his man and went, went to a, a cave and all the way to the back of the cave and he hide there and then saw saw the cave and he needed to relieve himself so he went to the cave to do that and the men they whispered to david said look the lord gave your enemy in your hand you can kill him right here because he was there relieving himself and David said, I'm not going to stretch my hand and touch the anointed one. He is the king. He is the anointed by God. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to do this. He went there behind Saul and cut a piece of Saul's robe. Then Saul finished his job there, left. When he left, David go out and cry out to Saul and said, look, you were looking for me. The Lord gave you in my hand. Look to your robe. The piece of robe is here. Saul is kind of in shock. And then David says this to Saul. He said, look, may the Lord be our judge. May the Lord be your judge. May the Lord be my judge. I'm not going to be the judge. The Lord is going to be our judge. And may he consider my cause and not behold it. May he vindicate me by delivering me from your hand. The Lord will be my judge. I'm not going to do it. The Lord will do it for me. And the Lord did for David. The Lord did it for David. It's, it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story that the Lord worked to bring justice and to judge between David and Saul. And it's a, it's a beautiful story. And David had Saul in his hand, not just once, but said, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. The Lord will do it. And sometimes it's hard for us because we want to do it. And the Lord said, hey, let me do it. Let me do it for you. Let me do it for you. The Lord is just. And he can 
bring justice for you. And it's a, it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story. The, the Lord says, the, the, the vengeance belongs to me. Get out of the way. Let me do it for you. Sometimes we want to do it. But we just, the Lord said, hey, just move, move away. Let me take care of this. And he knows what needs to be done. We just need to trust in him. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.